Hi everyone, we're Group 12, and our project is to create a real-time music sharing system. Users can share music with their friends in real time. The main point is we're creating the playroom, and in the playroom, members can make a playlist, and anyone can play, switch and stop songs, or update the list. In the reality world, we can actually create a stereophonic speaker system using multiple computers. If this function is well implemented, we'll add a video sharing as another function in this application. As people's requirement for listening to music increasing, people are yearning to interact while listening to music. It will be fun that your friends can pick songs for you and you guys can share the moments when you are in the same music environment and doing different things. There are two main functions we would like our music synchronizer to achieve. To request for a music file which is not on the local storage of the current node from a remote node is the basic idea behind the peer-to-peer -peer network. And this should be our infrastructure of music synchronization. Later, each node will be given equal rights of play, pause, and speed up or down the present session. And the sessions will be shared in a synchronization fashion so that friends inside the network are able to keep at the same pace. And with these two functions, we need to take special care of three parts in the back end of our project. First thing to come into mind is bootstrapping. We would like to put inside our code a seed list of nodes which are believed to be part of our network so that the participant could investigate down through the list accordingly until it finds a node who will introduce him into the network. And then to satisfy a music file request, we employ the ideas learned in the class, namely the distributed the distributed hash table. By designing properly how much knowledge each node should have for routing and searching, we want to forward the request properly to the node which is responsible for it. But by now, we are still considering how the data structure should be like to fill into our project. Finally, as what has been explored in the third lab, we are thinking about using multicast to synchronize the music play inside our peer-to-peer -peer network. We will use vector timestamp to send or receive the action to or from the network so that all the nodes are able to arrive at a unanimous consensus on the present state of sessions. This is an example diagram of our system architecture. As you can see, there's a cluster of servers labeled by the music disk there within. For starter, a new client will connect to the server. The server will first add the node into the distributed hash table containing the list and its corresponding node, and then send the name of the nodes to client. Take this figure for instance. Client will request this too, while the server will get the list by hashing the key and send it to client. To connect to the playlist, client will multicast a request to all the nodes in the list. The list will update the new node's information into their table, while the file metadata name as key and the server that owns the file as value. Let's say in this case, the new client contact node 4 and node 5 to join list 2. Node 4 and node 5 will update the hash table to inform that there's a new client joining their group and hash the file owned by the new clients into DHT. The node which has the current streaming file will then send a replica of file, playlist, current timestamp, and DHT to the client. To decide which node is going to serve the new node, we decide to use a load balancing mechanism to maintain equal traffic. For challenges, we will use Go programming language for our backend server. This is one of the challenges because none of our team members has experience in programming Go. We choose to use Go because it is really good at network and web servers developing distributed systems and it is appropriate for high concurrency. Second, network latency. Our application has to maintain an uninterrupted stream of music flowing to each computer. As a result, 
it pushed out music as fast as possible and stores the extra music in the buffer to avoid network latency and to ensure continuity. Third, the play rate. The music play rate is also a challenge. Different computers may have noticeable different play rates. This means if you are able to start synchronizing play music between two computers, they may well skill out of sync midway through the with song, and you will hear a noticeable echo. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for watching this video.